Hello dear viewers. While engines are the heart and soul of our vehicles, they also represent the most significant investment. Therefore, it's crucial to prioritize their care and maintenance. Among the various concerns that can plague these vital components, engine knocking is a prevalent issue. Engine knocking is a common problem that can occur in car engines. It is a noise that is produced when the fuel inside the engine ignites prematurely. The octane rating of fuel is a measure of its ability to resist detonation or a violent combustion process. The higher the octane rating, the more resistant the fuel is to detonation. If the fuel has a low octane rating, it is more likely to detonate prematurely, causing engine knocking. If you suspect that your engine is knocking, it is important to address the issue as soon as possible to prevent further damage to your engine. You can try using an octane booster to boost up the octane rating of your fuel. If the issue persists, it is best to take your car to a mechanic to diagnose and fix the issue. Engine knocking can be directly attributed to incorrect ignition timing, being one of the most prevalent causes of this issue. Two scenarios describe how incorrect timing occurs. These are over-advanced and retarded timing. In the case of over-advanced timing, the spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture too early in the compression stroke. This gives the mixture more time to burn, resulting in a pressure increase before the piston reaches the top of its stroke. This pressure increase then pushes against the piston, causing a knocking sound. On the other hand, retarded timing means the spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture too late in the compression stroke. This results in less time for the mixture to burn, which can cause incomplete combustion and a loss of power. In some cases, it can also lead to knocking as the pressure in the cylinder builds up due to the incomplete combustion. The spark plug center electrode and ground electrode gap is critical for proper ignition. If the gap is too small, the spark may not be powerful enough to ignite the air-fuel mixture properly, leading to misfires and incomplete combustion that can contribute to knocking. Conversely, if the gap is too large, the spark may be too weak or jump to the wrong place, leading to similar issues. Over time, the spark plug's electrodes wear down, increasing the gap and reducing the spark's strength, which can have the same effect as having the wrong gap. Spark plugs also have different heat ranges, which determine how hot they get during operation. If the spark plug's heat range is too cold, it can run too cool and foul easily, leading to misfires and knocking. Conversely, if the spark plug's heat range is too hot, it can overheat and cause pre-ignition, which is another form of uncontrolled combustion that can also lead to knocking. A bad knock sensor can contribute to engine knocking, but it is not the most common cause. A knock sensor is a small device mounted on the engine block. It detects vibrations caused by engine knocking also known as detonation and sends a signal to the engine computer. The computer then retards the ignition timing to prevent further knocking. If the knock sensor is faulty it may not detect engine knock, which can lead to engine damage, The United States mandates that all fuel sold must contain carbon cleaning detergents to prevent carbon deposits forming on your cylinders. However, despite this requirement, some deposits still form. When these deposits accumulate, there is less space for the fuel and air to reside, which leads to increased compression. Changes in fuel compression can result in unpleasant knocking sounds, carbon buildup can create hot spots in the combustion chamber. Over time, small amounts of carbon can accumulate on the pistons or valves, which can cause the engine to run less efficiently and lead to knocking. Engines are the most crucial components in our cars. If you hear knocking or banging coming from under the hood, it's best to take care of the problem as soon as possible, as ignoring it could damage various parts inside your engine.